Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. So, it's a, what is this? It's a beautiful morning. It is the second day of winter, and we're all just sort of hanging out around the, uh, actually, you know what? Here, I'll join them. Hello, hello, fellow villagers. Uh, I do hope everything is going well. It does appear so, except for, oh, what's going on over there? Hang on a sec. Stand up. That's it. What? Why? Frederick. Hello. <laughs> oh, he's much better now. All right. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, look at that. See, he's uh, he's perked up, so he's not uh, got his hand in his head. Uh, one of the things that, uh, well, oh, by the way, the all of the field work is done. Uh, so basically everybody's working on barn work. I, I double checked. Everything is fine. Uh, I did go through and hang on. Uh, let's see. I did go through and rework a little bit. Uh, I turned on wheat grain because there's some unprocessed wheat and then I cranked up fertilizer a little bit and then I deprioritized everything else because basically they're not doing it anyways because there's no resources. So we're doing good. In fact, right now we only have, if we take a look, there's only two two alerts. One of them is that I don't have anybody working the well, and the other is that I don't have anybody working the workshop, which is expected given our current staffing situation. Um, one thing I think I do want to double check is to see how much water there is. Although you'd think that the buckets of water, look, we've got 10 bucket, we've got 17, 10 out of 10 buckets of water. They're good. We're doing fine with water. So, oh, look, everybody's going back to work. Excellent. One of the things that uh, that I keep being reminded of, and it's a very valid point, is I can go in and talk to Hail, Baldwina. friend. <laughs> friend. Honey, I'd think that we were more than friends. Uh, you're, you're carrying in your arms proof of that. Anyways, um, let's see. We can say, how's our little kingdom doing? All is up and running, Captain Husband. See, there we go. And that Have means day. You're, yeah, you too. Things are going well. One of the things that I do need to start really considering is upgrading the houses to stone. Uh, our, our stone supply is slowly building up. We do have stone. Let's see. Stone. There we go. We've got 104 stone. And that's... Oh, right. I used that stone. Oh, that's right. I did. Uh, do I have any inventory on me? Uh... Fur, feather, you know what? Let's put all that away. No, that's, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> I had a plan. Um, last night I went and gathered a whole bunch of sticks and I made, uh, I made a whole bunch of arrows. I now have something in the region of 120 stone arrows. So we could sell us, we could sell a lot of those. Uh, so that's going to be, remember I was saying in the last episode at the end, I want to go to, uh, Denica and I want to talk to Fenenenenena. Uh, for the for the quest for Sambor's quest, but I'd like to have a good other good reason to go up there and to sell some stone arrows is a is a pretty good reason. So we'll we'll do a little commerce while we're up there, and make it worthwhile. Um, the other thing is I do have the ability. We have some. We're, we're actually doing pretty good with leather right now. We also have some flax, which means I made some uh, some flax thread, and I can actually make. Uh, what is it? Shoes? I can make fur shoes! <laughs> and if we take a look, I can make four fur shoes with what I've got on me, which is... Uh, well, I have a bunch of... Uh, well, we'll see, actually. It's going to show us. Uh, eight leather, ten fur. Oh, is there no... Uh, no... Uh, oh, that might be why I did it. Because it didn't require thread? Yeah, that might actually be why. We've got the leather and the fur right now. Uh, we seem to be doing fairly well, but yeah, it's a uh, fur and leather. And now we have, uh, well, let's take a look. We have on our person, we have some fur shoes. Each one is 170 coins. Make a bit of money. That's uh, That sounds good to me. And that's just, you know, extra fur and leather that we had kicking around in inventory. So pretty cool. I have had good luck with making clothing in the past. Uh, now let's just put away whatever extra bits and pieces I have right now. Uh, feathers, fur, leather, um, linen thread. I made linen thread. Yeah. You know what we could do? Can we make something a little more fancy? You know what? Let's see if we can make something a little more fancy. Let's see. Uh, let's grab the 10 linen thread. Because I think there was something else that I could make. Uh, we've got a lot of fur, so I'm just going to grab, uh, 60. 
and leather. We've actually, look, 167 leather. So I'm going to grab 60 of that as well. And there we go. And let's see if we can make something else that's kind of interesting. That'll, uh, you know, give us a bit of cash now that I think about it. Because I, I remember I wanted to make the shoes. But what else do we have? Well, if we take a look at the shoe situation, there, we can't really do much because they're all locked. Right? I did buy this recipe, but, you know. Uh, gloves? Is there... Oh, yeah, yeah. That's locked as well. Uh, leather and linen thread. So we could make some gloves. What else? Uh, hood, that's all locked. Um, tunics. Yeah, you know, hang on a minute. There was something... Uh... Oh! Saddlebags. Oh, that's kind of cool. Water skins? No. What was it? I mean, we could make thick leather gloves. Uh, it, it'll cost us 200 coins. We have 1,670. Uh, one. I don't know if that's what I want to do, though. Uh, hats? No. Just, we're, we're just, we're just going to peruse here and see if there's anything interesting that we might want to uh, buy or be able to make by buying the, the recipe. So, we could do fur capelets because uh, it's fur and linen thread. We have plenty of, well, we have, don't have plenty, but we got a fair amount of each. And um, they're useful, especially in winter. Long hood, long fur hood, which is, we don't want that. That's wool, wool, wool. Yeah, fur and linen thread. The fur capelet probably is a good choice. So we let's put a pin in that. Uh, trousers, is there anything? No. Wait a minute. Is there anything that's not wool? No. Shoes. Is there any, uh, no. You know what? We, we, we don't want to... Tunics? Is it tunics? We're just cho we're just cruising around seeing what we can do. Hoods. I think that the uh, capelet would be a nice little choice, actually, now that I... Now that I investigate a little bit more. Why don't we, why don't we get that? There we go. And then let's see if we can make five. Yes! Now, the five comes from the fact that, uh, it... Each one is two linen thread. And we have 10. <laughs> we have 10 on us. Uh, that's not all the linen thread that I have available to me. Um, so, yeah. But uh, it is what uh, I made. I basically made that 10. I grabbed 100 flax stalks. And then I made that into linen thread thinking, oh, well, let's see. Maybe I was going to, like, investigate and right now to see what we could do with it. If there was anything interesting. I think capelets is a good idea. Um, we're going to see how much they're worth. They're probably going to be worth more than the shoes because they have more pricey ingredients. The linen thread, for example, is pretty... It's considered a, a, a bit more of an expensive item than just fur and leather. Because fur and leather you can just go out by getting by killing animals. Linen thread, you actually have to grow flax. Alright. Almost done! <laughs> Almost done. Come on! Work that needle. <laughs> Work it! <laughs> and that's it. Okay, let's see what that got us. Uh, if we take a look in... What was it? For a capelet? 240 each. So, you know what? That's pretty darn good. I think I'm I'm happy with that situation. Oh my goodness. And I have to service these, these traps again. Alright. There we go. And... Oh, we have to make a new rat trap. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> I need sticks. Uh, I guess we'll go over here. There's usually a lot of sticks over here. Like this one right here is a stick. And we've got a stick right there. Although it looks like we've been... I've been doing a pretty good good job of, of gathering sticks. <laughs> because I, 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 needed to, uh, I needed a whole bunch of them to make all those arrows and stuff. So I did, I did clean up a lot around here. Uh, you could, some people have, have actually said that in the past in comments and stuff. They've said that they like to clean up the sticks because, um, they think it makes the, uh, the, the neighborhood, the, the village look a little bit more, um, uh, clean and tidy. Yeah, I can get behind that. I think it's not a bad reason. It's not bad logic. Okay. Let's go back and make our thing. We do have a plan for today. This is just a little bit of maintenance, a little bit of overhead just to keep things moving. Uh, I think I also cooked last night, if I remember correctly. Uh, decorative rabbit housing with a top pop top. There we go. 
Okay, I'm going to put all the extra bits and pieces away. Uh, probably more fur and sticks. Feathers, yes. Fur, leather, and sticks. There we go. And then the last thing is, I did, as I say, I cooked last night and I made some potage. Oh, I also made a whole bunch of firewood. So we should be good in the firewood front. Uh, let's take a look. Food and potato. there we go so we've got a fair amount of it right now we're, we're not doing too badly of course rasimir is a simple fellow and he just likes to eat cabbage so we're just going to grab 18 of them and then we're going to just have a bit there we go and then in fact what we're going to do is put away some of that yeah we got raw meat on us too okay and then one last thing, I just want to double check because it was last night that I did the firewood. I want to make sure that we're still sane because they're going through it super quick. Look at that, 197. Wow. I need to make another wood uh, extraction, uh, another wood hut, uh, uh, lumber mill, whatever, however they call it. I can't remember. Uh, I need to, a woodshed. I need to make another one because I need to, I really do need to get somebody making uh, firewood so that we don't run out so quick. It's getting a little bit uh, painful. In fact, you know what? I might just do that um, just because because it is becoming a bit of an issue, especially in wintertime. Nawoya, if you would be so kind as to uh, maybe do 50 here. How many is... Oh, man, that's not a lot of wood per day, is it? Uh, let's reduce planks down to five and six. That's not a lot, but... Oh, I need the, I do need the, the logs. So let's say 25 per day or 40%. Yeah. And then we'll do this. It'll, it'll just, it'll offset a little bit. It'll make it a little bit better. Not a lot. All right. Now, um, I think we're good. Uh, the other thing I did check, I did make sure that, hey, hey pig, how you doing? That all the food is doing well. The animals are fully topped up in their food. Yes. And uh, the ducks. Oh, geese. Look, the geese are now big geeses. Oh, of course. They, I think they were last time that I looked as well. She's very busy. She's got places to go. As you can see, it's very, she's got very, it's very important. There we go. She has now reached her destination and is gazing upon. Yes, that's right. Gazing upon her land. That's right. And, and has marked her approval. She has declared that she does approve of the work that we are doing. Very nice. Uh, it's always good to get approval from the from the geese. What is that? Why is that up in the air like that? And of course, our young man here, he's just like minding his own business. You keep me out of it, man. I don't want to know. <laughs> All right. What is the plan? Here, let's grab some sticks. We're heading out to uh, Fendanenana because we have magic potion to deliver. Oh, and last night I did get a bunch of farming stuff done. So I do have a skill point to put into something. What should I put it into? So Knight Rider is 10% faster riding. Carrot and Stick is carry weight for the mount. Orchard, more crops, skilled rider. I do want to get into that a little bit because that is going to become more important later. Farmer's Trance is faster farming. Um, I do, most of the farming is done by other people, though. Stamina consumption. Whist village Whistleblower. I will need that when I do get a mount. Oh, man. Hopefully I don't run out of points. Yeah. Well, we'll find out. Durability loss for tools. Skilled farmer. I think I'm just going to put a point into that because it increases. If I harvest things, it gives me more. Which, if I help harvest flax, is, is very helpful. Now, we are headed out to Denica. And so that's where we're going we're gonna to cruise out to. Hey, Rabbit, how you doing? Yeah? Okay. That's cool. <laughs> I'm catching up to you. I'm catching up to you. Oh! <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Poor rabbit. Oh, 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 I'm exhausted. The rabbit's still... Was that the rabbit that was making that sound? I don't know. All right, let's keep going. So where are we going? We are going to... Fananana. Uh, before to deliver the the magic potion for uh, Sambor, 
what is going to come of this in the future? I guess we could take the trail. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Badger's one person. He comments in, in the comment fields. and he, he, he warned me. He says, I warned you about Sambor's quest. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I, oh, hey, what's this? Is there anything cool in here? Oh. Stone rocks and iron ore. And a cudgel and more stone. And a stick. Ooh, the stick is the most... And another stick. That's pretty cool. I'm kidding, though. The stick is just incidental. It's the other stuff that's actually important. Okay. I heard something, but I don't know what it was. Anyways, he war He says he warned me, and I'm like, yeah, I know. I know. I know you did. But I found the little... the little Like, I went out to do Sambor's quest, or I went out to continue the main quest line, which takes you out to Sambor, right? And so I was out there... And <laughs> I do like the lynxes. They're cool. And they show up green, so that means they're not dangerous. Oh, 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 <laughs> they made noise. Um, anyways, yeah, he said, uh, and I'm like, oh, man, I found the little, the little carved figurines, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it. But I'm just not going to do it right away. I'll do it as, you know, like over time. I'm not going to rush or anything like that. Otherwise, you end up just running around in circles. Uh, let's talk to Fenanana. All right, Fenanana. I, <laughs> it's you, she says. <laughs> I'm back. Can we trade? Not a chance. My client is furious. The potion didn't work at all. Even made it worse. Are you trying to make a fool out of me, you worm? What? You sent me to... Oh, my God. The potion is real. Norbert Prepare, Norbert prepared it right before my eyes. Are you sure he's using it right? How could I know? I'm definitely not talking with him again after what he said to me this morning. You go and ask him yourself. What about that client's privilege? Screw his privacy. It's Bogdan from Branica. Mr. Limp... Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll go see him. <sighs> Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the journal. And see what it's... Talk to Bogdan. So this is Sambor Story 3. Um, we have 15 years to, con to, to to do this. So, I mean, we're not in a huge rush. We'll go out there and talk to Bogdan and, and see about that. Oh, my goodness. She's a bit of... She's a piece of work, she is. We've got some new people here, by the looks of it. Who do we have? Godsmira, Baldwin, and Radomir. Radomir. Oh, they've got coughing, too. Oh. Oh! I'm sorry. Are you sick? Would you like a potion to fix that? Unfortunately, I don't have one. Okay. Baldwin is kind of p terrible. God... God's... Nope, she's all twos and ones. And Radomir is all... Oh! Only crafting is a three. Hmm. How is life treating you? Good, Matilda. I happen My to have. Never I happen to be a uh, craftsman myself. I, I have made some items that I think are superior. No, I'm kidding. Uh, he, wouldn't you? Would you mind purchasing said these capelets for me? I think that that you would love them. I think you would enjoy them. I'm using a fur hood, so I can't wear it. Um, let's see. I, and if I could give them to my my um, villagers, I would. By the way. Uh, but I can, I've never figured out a way for that to happen, so it's it's pointless. Uh, 600 coins. Oh, nice. There we go. And we could sell some fur shoes, which is 340. There we go, 2300. So that's a nice... Oh, that is really good. Um, I quite like that. Now, uh, he's... He, she goodbye. is quite... Yes, goodbye. Enjoy those. You could tell them... They're so finely made, you could tell them that you made them yourself. Um, now there is a dude. Is he going to be working in the farm or where is he going to actually be? Oh, he's probably out here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm looking at the little, uh, the little satchels and it looks like, okay, there's, there's the seamstress. There's another one. There's over, over here. Oh, he's in the barn. Yeah, it's Dago Bear. Hello there. Hello, Dago Bear. Never disappoint. I know, but you know what? I've heard that you have a problem with wolves. And so I'm thinking that you might like some stone arrows. So I was thinking I would sell you a hundred of them. 
What do you think? Is that is that acceptable? 350 coins. Look at that. Nice. Excellent. Uh, is there anything else that I could sell you that you might... Hey, would you like this... Oh, no. This cudgel? Oh, no. Show me your wares. Only the best products here. I know. I, I have definitely only the best products. You you. I know that you're impressed by my work. Uh, we have five wooden hammers. Um, I suppose I could probably sell a few of those. I'll have a spare of my own. There we go. So I've got one plus a plus backup, which is always nice to have. Uh, we've got uh, a few stone knives, but that's okay. They're, they're light. And I like having some spares. Oh, bags. Wait a minute. Did I... I'm going to keep those, and I should be keeping... Why do I have bags? Oh, I must have grabbed them from my resource storage. Uh, it's okay. They don't need them right now. I'll, I'll just have to remember to put them in the storage later. Uh, no, no. One of these was a gift from my beloved, and one is mine, and I can't remember which, so I'm just going to drink both of them. Uh, iron ore, sticks, and stones. I think that's fine. There we go. All right. See you soon. Bye. So we now have... Uh, let's see. We have 2,731 uh, a, a coin right now, which is, you know, I can get behind that. Now, also, what I should be doing is going to the map, actually the journal, and I think we want to update Unigos story, so... Yeah, we didn't do the 10... Oh! <clears throat> Here, we're going to go to Gustovia. I was... <laughs> I was also informed... That apparently there is a way for you to avoid killing Mar Marilla the cow. Um, I also, there was, some people had, you know, I'll, I will be uh, honest with you. I was not comfortable with that. I don't, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I even avoid naming my own pets in my, in my games and stuff. Um, especially if they're like farm animals, because I don't like killing them. Um, I have in my subsistence series. I have a rabbit and a chicken that I just I just don't kill. I, they, they, they're, they, and when I eventually I'm gonna have to. I think you know I'm gonna have to do something with them, but uh, maybe not. I'll probably just wait a minute. That is not the same cart that I saw before. There was another cart. What? Where's the cart? Wait a minute, where am I? Right here. <gasps> oh. Oh, did I already get this one? Sticks. Yeah, get out of the way. Uh, another stick. Okay. I must have... Oh! Fur! <laughs> oh, it was just a little bit further out than usual. Okay, but I don't see any other items here. Is there anything else that may have sprayed... How much fur was that? Inventory. Fur. One. Okay, that was a bit weak, but that's okay. I was hoping for more. There's a pig. Hey, pig. But yeah, I don't like naming uh, animals because then, then I might have to actually, you know, like if they're part of the whole process, you know, because I'm not, you know, I'm not deluded. I know where pork comes from. I know where bacon comes from. Oh, come on, you know. But, uh, you know, I am a, I'm, I, I, I've been accused of being a bit of a softy. And it's true. I'm not going to deny it when it comes to certain things. So, yeah. Uh, we could go as the crow... F yeah, let's go as the crow flies. But that doesn't mean that... Uh, I, I mean, I, I just sort of look for ways to avoid it. And in that particular case, I would like to have no figured out a way to avoid killing Marilla. But I don't know. Um, I guess what it was is I was more... Like, uh, because the center of that story was, uh, Wolrad. Wolrad, I think his name's Wolrad. Um, Sambor's, uh, supposed friend, right? The jokester. And, oh, is there another pig? Okay, we're gonna avoid the pig. Oh. Oh. Look at this place. Wow. Nice. We've got a bit of firewood, and let's see, let's, uh, let's scooch around. <gasps> iron arrows? Ooh. And what did, okay, there's an iron arrow. That doesn't appear to be anything except, uh, probably <gasps> a, a recurve bow at 77%. Very nice. A stick. Ooh, I love sticks. Um, let's see. Apple wine? 
salted fish and salted meat. Okay. Uh, a K uh, <laughs> for a caplet, thick leather gloves. Very cool. Another stick. Oh, excellent. Um, another stick. And is there anything else in here? No, I don't see anything else. Um, more sticks, but I think we have enough sticks. Oh, a bucket. Very cool. And what else do we have? Over here? A basket, a wicker basket, and another bag with... Oh, this is... Look, this right here, this is... It's pure gold. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent game. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, I'm not seeing anything else. I'm just picking up some of these other items, uh, just in case they are, you know, sometimes when, like, if you, like, right now, th there's, I know there's a rock there and a stick, but you can only see the stick because, uh, it's blocking the hitbox for the rock. And if you pick up the stick, then all of a sudden the stone becomes available. That happens with, um, loot as well. <gasps> Apple tree seedling. P oh, beet seeds. And uh pear oh wow. Okay. What else? am I missing anything else? Oh, an iron axe. Wow, I didn't see that. I don't know why. Can I grab this uh this bench? That would be kind of cool. <laughs> Just put that in my <gasps> more arrows? Nice. And I can't see any of it through my uh second sight. That's kind of a bummer. We've checked those. Alright, let's do one more quick little cursory. Uh, thing. Did I check that sack? Yes. Uh, we've got the barrel. Is there anything around the outskirts here? I don't think so. Any more arrows? Mm. I think we got everything. I mean, there's like sticks and stuff. We could just get these out of the way. And then maybe something will be, you know, pop up. But I don't think so. I think we've, I think we've, we've basically, uh, pillaged this entire little thing here. All right, I think we're good. Let's keep, uh, let's keep moving. Very cool. I like that. That's nice. Oh. <laughs> that's my dude. <laughs> Who is that? That is, that's nice deck. <laughs> How you doing there, buddy? Keep up the good work. Yeah, because I'm right next to my village. <laughs> that's, holy moly, that, that, uh, little, um, outpost is, like, right near me. I'm, those must be randomly placed because I, th I think I've been through there before, uh, and I didn't see that. And I'll bet you anything, they just sort of pop up and then they disappear. Which reminds me, uh, well, let's just go. Let's go out to, uh, let's go to Gustovia. We're just about there. It is getting late in the evening, but I think we've got a bit of time. We can talk to some people there. That, that'll that be fine. All right. Uh, anyways, back to the Marilla thing. Uh, apparently, if you were to go back, like if much like I did with with the uh, Walrad, if you if you he, he says, go get a thousand logs. I went, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I went, and I said, that can't be right. I think he's pulling my leg because he's already established that he's that there's jokesters and stuff between him and Sambor, right? And, um, oh, cool. Uh, and, and so, but I didn't think of doing that with his wife, to be honest with you. Uh, no, we're good here. Although we could do a bit of commerce. How can I help you? Hi. Best um, goods in the valley. I know, but I also have this lovely cap and a fur capelet and some thick leather gloves, which are not in as good a shape as mine. And, uh, you know, we, you can give me a little bit of money for that. And then look at that. I've hit 3k. 3,000. Not bad. Is there anything else that I could sell? There's a bit of food. Um, the apple wine uh, was not a gift. Uh, the salted meat, yeah, I don't need it. We can we can sell that. And I think the rest of this is just stuff that I had on me. I don't remember if there was anything else. Um, I'm going to keep the tools and stuff like that. I think that's good. Oh, the seedlings I'm keeping, of course. All of that I'm going to keep. Okay. All right, farewell. See you soon. Now that 3287 is what we're up to. Very cool. All right, so we need to speak to uh, Unigost. And Unigost is 33 meters this way. Is he outside this house? This 
he always hangs out here. I don't know why. Maybe he lives here. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> hello, son. Hello, Unigos. Long time no see. Long time indeed. Rasmir, how have you been? Wait a minute. Didn't I pay taxes at the beginning of the year? Yeah, I think so. Great. I've met Walrad recently. Uh, I'm glad. Seems that you've, you're, you're following the path of Jordan's past, just like you wanted to. I do. That's why I'm here, actually. I wanted to ask you about Kestrel. Oh, so you've heard about her. Yes, Walrad mentioned her name, but nothing else. Not my story to tell, he said. Uh, and then dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I'm just going to insert awkward silence. <laughs> Unigo Unigost? That's, um, really strange. Why would he say it like that? Strange indeed. Kess, I mean, um, she's, yeah, she was part of the pack, and that would be it. <laughs> what? You're tempting at being casual. Seems like you're having a stroke. <laughs> they wouldn't, you know, in me I don't think they knew what a stroke was in medieval times, but we'll, we'll just go with the flow. You're right. Sorry. I wasn't prepared for that topic. For her topic. For her. You see, Kestrel was... <laughs> uh, I remember the day we met. Me, Jordan, Samber. We were, we were coming back from one of, the, one of the missions. It was truly spectacular. Uh, f failure. <laughs> Long story short, we were forced to take a shortcut through the river and lost uh, most of our equipment in the process. Our mounts as well. After a few days of roaming the woods, we've come across, we'd, we'd come across a small village. We were way too exhausted to even think of trying something elegant. So we decided to just take the horse from, horses from the stable and leave some money behind. So we did, just, we did just that. We started riding the horses out of the village in a hurry when we suddenly heard a loud whistle. Horses stopped in place immediately as if they were enchanted. Jordan fell right off. Sambor was kick, kicking the horse with all his strength, but it wouldn't even budge. And then we heard her voice. If you boys want to keep your peckers and, head, peckers and heads attached to your bodies, you will have to get off my horse and start running. I looked behind me and saw the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen holding a bow with an arrow pointed right at my eye. At that moment, your uncle managed to get off the ground, pissed as heck, and started giving her a piece of his mind. What? He, you stole her horses. I mean, fine, you could, you could justify it by saying you gave her money, but that doesn't mean that you had the right to them. So she moved her bow a little and released the arrow. She shot him? Without a blink, me and Sambor almost died from laughter. <laughs> what? what? Why? Oh, where did she shoot him? That was the first and pretty much only person we've met who made Jordan look like a fool. A child, even. The sight of Jordan bleeding and us laughing at what at that must have been the strangest thing. She surely thought that we were some kind of loonies. <laughs> I'm certain that she did. We ended up spending the, spending the whole day together. She tended to Jordan's wound, who didn't say a word to her the, the entire time. And me and Sambor were basically begging her to join us. When we explained our mission to her, which we haven't done ever to, before to a stranger, she said yes. Just like that. There wasn't even a pinch of fear in that woman. Bravest soul that was ever born. Her only condition was that we take all of the horses. She didn't have any family besides those animals. And family sh shall never be left behind. There were five of them. Some might call it a coincidence. The other, destiny. The fifth was for Walrat? Indeed it was. The steed's name was Burr, which makes it totally fitting to his future owner. Burr was carrying our bags for almost a year before he got himself a rider. And those two became best friends. I'll tell you that. But getting back to Kestrel... Jordan didn't like her at first. Only, only time I've ever seen him insecure like that. He didn't put a spell on her with just a glance, like every other woman. So he resented her for it. Uh, for a while, at least. Because, because uh, soon, everything fell into place. Sun always rises in the east and sets in the west. No way to get around that. Same thing was with Jordan. He always got what he wanted, and that was to be admired and desired. She didn't have a chance, really. They were together, Kestrel and Jordan. Well, it started as a fling, but that isn't how every isn't. But isn't that how every love starts? Soon they became inset, in, inseparable. If I didn't know Jordan so well, I'd say she changed him. But he didn't change. He couldn't. He just enjoyed his new game, a relationship. Even Sambor realized it at some point. Everyone did, except Kestrel. Ooh, that's kind of rough. By the way, uh, Rasmir's thirsty right now, so you're hearing him 
smacking his lips. It's quite disturbing. Uh, Jordan soon became bored with the game, like any other. So he went back to seducing and having fun with other women. Oh, man. That's, that's pretty... That's kind of a low thing to do, by the way. But now there was another challenge for him. Another thrill of keeping it a secret from Kestrel. Oh, for crying out loud. It was painful to watch. Really painful. Especially when I loved them both so much. You mean loved like family, right? Rasmir, I've loved Kestrel right from the moment she put pointed that arrow at me. Never stopped. But I've always been shy and living in Jordan's shadow. Only worse than, But always being shy and living in Jordan's shadow only worsened that. So I kept it to myself for years until I didn't. What do you mean? We started having an affair. Oh, so you betrayed Jordan. Nothing is black and white, dear Asmir. You certainly learn it with age. We all live in infinite shades of gray, but yes, that's undeniable. I've hated myself for it, and I hated him for hurting the love of my life, for making me lie to her and keep his dirty secrets while I had one of my own. It was exhausting, to be honest, but I couldn't stop. I couldn't lose her, and she couldn't stop loving him as well. My goodness, a little triangle. Uh, I'm not judging you, Unigos. That sounds excruciating. Uh, that's not the end of the story. It all went downhill when she got pregnant. I couldn't eat or sleep. I've started, I, I've started distancing myself from her. The unknown was killing me. Was Jordan the father? Did I lay with the woman carrying another man's child? Or was it mine? And I, it, I wasn't going to raise it. But instead, and I wasn't going to raise it, but instead live as his uncle in a lie like a coward. I've had, the dark, I've had the darkest of thoughts rushing through my mind at this time. I still blame myself for it. Did I wish it, ha wish it to happen? Wish what? The baby was stillborn. Oh, that's sad. I wanted to die with it on that day, but I felt relieved at the same time. What kind of person feels relieved in a situation like that? When Jordan left the room, I wanted to see its eyes. I wanted to be sure to finally know what to feel. Uh, she didn't let me. I joined uh, Jordan in his grief. We drank and cried all night. I pretended to be just an empathetic uh, brother. But I was scum. A scum with a grief of his own. The child's little body was burned in the morning. I couldn't get back to being at, with Kestrel after that, and neither could Jordan. So she lost three of her men on, of her men on that day, all consumed by flames, by the flames, blown away by the wind as smoke and dust. Unigost, I'm so sorry. I had no idea what you've been through. What you have been, all been through. You have nothing to be sorry for, my child. I was trying to tell you that from the very beginning. Don't envy the lives we've lived. We were trying to do some good to make some change, but we were not heroes, and we're, we're, we're still paying for the price of, or pay, paying the prices of it. Ugh, sorry. I need to see her, Unigost. You said all of you ended up in the valley. I don't know where she lives. She didn't want to be found. Not by me. So I've never looked. But I'm pretty sure that Sambor knows. You can try with him. That's what I'm going to do then. Rasmir, if you see her, tell her that I... Never mind. Be well. Oh boy. That is quite the story. Now, I am very thirsty. I'm down to 2.9 out of 100. So I'm going to have some of the... I'm going to have the cherry juice... And I'm going to have the pear juice. Oh, ho, ho. I've been waiting to do that for a long time. Oh, boy. Well, I mean, we could continue on with... Uh, with. Oh, that's Unigos Story 5. Talk to Sambor. Let's take a look at the journal. Um, all right. So this is, this is basically, I guess, the beginning of the next chapter in Unigos Story. I have 15 years to take care of it. It was the saddest thing I've ever heard. We've heard the story. He, uh, but w w let's read it anyways. It was the saddest story I've ever heard. They've all been through so much pain. I've dreamt about being one of the pack earlier. Now I'm not so sure. Would I be able to handle all of that? Would I want to? I'm disappointed in my uncle a bit. He's not as pure and perfect as I thought him to be. But we all make mistakes, right? And greatness comes at a price. I need to meet this Kestrel. I won't be able to think straight without it. Let's see if Sambor knows her whereabouts. So we have to talk to Sambor. Um, Sambor's story, we're going to talk to Bogdan eventually. And Alwyn's story, we need to talk to Alwyn. Um, it's it's nighttime, and I'm pretty sure I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go home. Uh, I think what I'll do is... 
Yeah, I'm going to head back home, and I'm going to take care of a few things overnight, perhaps, and stuff like that. And then, yeah, we'll uh, we'll catch up in the morning. All right, it is first thing in the morning. People are just gathering around the fire. Of course, my lovely wife is, uh, she's here. She's here with our child. Hello, honey. How's the little one doing? Yes, perfect. Excellent. And the thing is, um, there's something that I've been meaning to sort of address or, or get into in a little while. Um, and I think we might want to, oh my goodness. I just serviced this last night. <laughs> Again. Oh, you know, I'm not going to complain. It gives me hunting experience, even though I'm not hunting. Um, I want to check on a couple of things. First of all, let's take a look at the stone situation. If we take, we've got 90 stone here. That's a fair amount. I think we can work with that. And then what is the limestone? 84. We've got uh, some logs. Oh, by the way, I had to make more firewood. Uh, I had to do, I had to make pickaxes so that the, the excavation shed can keep up because apparently I ran out. Um, a, a little, I did a few maintenance-y things overnight. That, that's pretty well the, the gist of it, though. But I'm thinking, I'm going to grab 20 logs here, which I'm a little bit overburdened. But I'm thinking that I might actually uh, look at doing something, and that is building a uh, a stone house. And uh, you know, I I I I love what Baldwina to be nice and warm and have a special stone house. And I think I'm going to do that now. Obviously, I'm going to. Well, I guess I could. I'll do it for for uh, my family first. I know that that's a little bit. Uh, yeah, but you know what? I think Baldwina deserves it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with that. She deserves it. Uh, and we're gonna, we will talk to Sambor, but I want to get a little bit of building done. Um, I also want to do a little bit of recruiting, and we are going to head out, uh, to, uh, the Ranicas. Uh, well, Sambor means going out in the direction of the Ranicas, and we also want to go out to the Ranicas, Ranicas to, so that we could speak to Fenenenena's customer, because apparently, yeah, they're unsatisfied. And we have to figure out what's going on. I'm really not sure how I feel about that whole situation, but we're just going to do it. Now, where do I want to put this house? I believe it's right here. Let's see if we can put it here without disturbing the existing situation. So, let's see. Building. House. Uh, I don't think I can. I think, yeah, even if I did... Like, the trees are going to be inside, so I, I don't like that idea. So we are going to have to get rid of some of these uh, trees. Not all of them, just a few. All right, so let's see if we can dump... No, 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 no. Let's dump the logs, because they're kind of the what's really weighing us down right now, I think. There we go. Now, you're going to stay there? Pig, don't, don't get squished by the rolling log. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Pig is mighty. Pig not worried about log. I'm going to use my nice brand new iron axe that I got. Yes. It's very exciting. Okay, we're going to start with this one. Do, 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 do. I forgot. Oh, yes. It, mighty axe. I agree. Now, don't get caught up in this whole business. Let's grab you, 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 and you. And uh, we could maybe even dig you up. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Grab the, some of the sticks and stuff because uh, they'll disappear anyways once we try to place the house down. Any any of these these items will get sort of obliterated. All right, you're uh, you're over there. Okay, let's see if we can take care of this one now. Okay, I think we're safe. Oh oh oh! <laughs> Hopefully nobody was hurt. There we go. <laughs> Look at the size of that tree. Oh, nope, I accidentally grabbed too much. Uh, let us... Whoa, I'm at 119 out of 65. <laughs> uh, let's drop down... Let's drop... Uh, 12. There. Now I'm slow, but I'm, I'm still mobile. Can we fit a the house in... Oh, I might have to get rid of another... Maybe that tree right there. Might have to do this one. Yeah. I don't want to get rid of all the trees. I do like them. And uh, nobody's going to get hurt. Okay, good. Do, do, do. Hey, I'm getting feathers too. Nice. Let's grab you, 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 and you. Oh, man, I'm getting super slow. 
And then, of course, we have to dig you up. So let's get you. Boom, boom. There we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh it's, I've, got, I've got a lot of logs on me. Oh, I've got a lot of logs. How many do I need for the house? Uh, I need eight or six. Okay, so we can we can drop a bunch of these. Oh, boy. This is... Uh, uh, yeah, I know. I know. I'm really slow. He's like, uh, the pig's just saying, telling me... Oh, no, not that. He's just telling me how slow I am. Uh, let's drop, I don't know, another 11. There we go. And now I should be able to... Yeah, I can move around. All right. First of all, um, put away the, the shovel. And I think, you know what? We might be able to place a house there. I think, I think we can. Okay. Let's do that. Building house. Oh, come on. Oh, the the stump. Okay. Let's let's see if we can. This stump might be getting in the way. Let's grab that. There we go. <laughs> oh, pig. <laughs> yes. Okay. Perfect. So we could right there. Oh, that is. You know what? That's lovely. I'm just going to put it right here. And we got a little bit of branches on the intruding on the inside of the house, but not too bad. Now, what I need to do, it's been a while since I've done this, so you're going to have to excuse me, but I want to edit. And I want to, now this is a window, right? So we want to edit this to a window and we want it to be stone with, there we go, stone. And this is a, a door, so doors, and we want a stone door. And this is a wall. We can actually edit this a bit more. Um, that is a window. We could turn... We could turn... Well, let's go take a look in the house. And check out the layout. Hi, honey. I'm just... I'm building a new house! Uh, we, could put a, we could put a window there. And we could put a window there. We could actually put more windows, even. But I guess we can put a window... Pretty well, almost all of the walls make them windows. Except for maybe that one because of the fire. I kind of like the idea of having one that's not. But we could have uh, windows everywhere. Yes, I like this idea. So that's what we're going to do. Except for the that one. All right, so we want to uh, edit you into a window that's stone. Edit you into a window that's stone. Uh, you're already a stone window. We're going to edit you into a window that's stone. And you are a window with that's stone. Wait a minute. Did I make any of you? No, that is a uh, window that's stone. So this is a, no, uh, window that's stone. Stone wall with a window. Stone wall with a window. Stone wall with a window. This is an, a water wall. I'm going to make this a full stone wall. Stone wall. Stone wall with window. Stone wall with door. And don't forget these guys up here. So that is a stone wall. And then, of course, this one up here is a stone wall. There we go. And then the roof, we're going to do planks. And we're going to go with a uh, wooden tile roof, even though it's a lot of planks. But we can make them. So planks, planks, and planks, and planks. Planks. There we go. I think that's good. I think this is good. Um, so we can start putting logs in and stones. Do, 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 Oh. Now, when we get a horse or a donkey or something, this is a lot faster because we'll be able to uh, <laughs> transport stone a little bit better. Right now, it's a bit of a pain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's not much we can do about it. Uh, and then we, let's do that, and there we go. Now let's get some logs, 11 of them, and let's see if we can do the log situations here. Two, one, two, two, one, and no. And then we got to put them up here and up here, and we need more stones, or logs, I should say, sorry. And... There we go. There we go. Okay. Log and log. All right. So we're going to need 48 planks. And we're going to need... Uh, 
a bunch of stone. Okay, so let's um let's put the let's put the hammer away. No, uh, there we go. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, so we need six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-one stone, thirty-five, thirty-nine stone, thirty-nine stone, and forty-eight planks. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, now I have to remember that. Oh my goodness. Seriously. <laughs> and I make another rat, a rabbit trap. All right, here. Decorative rabbit special house. There we go. And you, of course, are not going to need any special stuff because you're still in good shape. Um. All right, let's put everything away. Nope. Okay, I was obviously doing something wrong. I don't know what it was, but that's okay. And wine bottle. Yeah, let's put the wine bottle. I was going to sell it. You know what? I'm going to keep it on me. I'm keeping it on me because I want to sell it. We do want to plant the seedlings. There's an apple and pear. I want to say pear. Is it a food or is it a construction material? It's a construction material. Okay. So we need... But let's do the uh, the planks first. Now, I don't know how many we have. But I don't think it's going to be enough. But we're going to need 48, right? Is that right? 24. Can't remember. Uh, we have 99. Let's grab 48. I don't think I'm going to be able to carry 48. Well, I could. It's just going to... Eh, well, I'm, I'm semi-mobile. <laughs> I'm semi-mobile. I can do this. But uh, let's see. We want to repair build. There we go. See, I can multitask. I can I can uh, walk and adjust my hammer settings at the same time. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. You're you're the, you're the construction foreman. Am I doing an appropriate job? Um. Yep. It looks good to me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Ah. That now he speaks. It's too late. I asked you your opinion earlier, but you were reticent about it. Maybe maybe uh, he's not impressed with my manufacturing skills, and he just doesn't want me want me to feel bad. They could be it. Pigs are sensitive creatures, you know. Okay, let's see. Unlike geese, geese are just. Oh boy. <laughs> They'll tell you exactly what they're thinking because they have no. They don't hold anything back. Um, you could even call them mean, um, but I'm not going to be mean and say that. So there you go. That's that's what I'm going to say. All right. We need 39 rocks. Hey, look at that. A spare hammer. We need 39 stones. Um, I could grab some stones that are just in the area because there are a lot of them. And we might as well just rather than uh, use up what we're building up in the in the. Uh, oh, nope, don't hit that ground with your hammer. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's grab you. Hey, how you doing there, little man? <laughs> you doing well? No, little lady, I apologize. That was uncalled for. Uh, uh, very uncalled for. You want to help? Wait, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. And peekaboo. <laughs> if you're looking for your, your, your charge, it's over there. She is over there. Okay, um, stones. We got distracted by picking up rocks, but we don't want to pick up rocks. We want, or picking up uh, sticks, but we want to pick up stones instead. And there's quite a few of them around, so I figured, you know what? We'll just uh, we'll just make use of these. It's very, it is not a, uh, uh, it's not a slow process to grab them. It's they're kind of you know very apparent. Like you and you, especially in winter, they're really easy to see. So it makes it quite convenient. We have 44 stones, which is more than enough. And I am now overburdened, so yeah. But we're still going to pick up some because we're going to need more eventually anyways. And we're going to grab you. Okay. <laughs> what? What? What, are you, what, are, what is it that you're trying to tell me? Is she, is she somewhere around here? Is she watching me? 
Are you just are you trying to give me a heads up that I might be observed? Uh oh. Okay. I need a drink. I'm thirsty. You know, building a, ha a stone house is a uh, very thirsty business. Nope. Nope. I don't want reeds. Nope. 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 Okay, fine. Yeah, we're going to pick up reeds. How about we How about we just drink some water? There we go. Well, we got there eventually. It took a minute, but... Man. Next time I need sticks, I know where I'm coming. You know, I'm kind of... I, th I think that uh, Baldwin is going to kind of like the fact that the house is near the where the animals are. Because she, I, I get, I, I, she's told me in, in uh, private, she just, she enjoys being around the animals. Oh, let's go in. Go. She finds them quite um, pleasant to be around. You know, they're good conversationalists. Do, 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 do. I, I kind of like them too, by the way. That's why I, <laughs> I like them being around. It's pretty cool. Uh, they they really do uh, add um, some character to the to the village. There we go, and then let's get you and oh, and of course we almost always forget these guys. There we are, and oh, construction completed. Small house. Look at that nice stone house. All right, we're gonna try, and I don't know if we can. But let's see if we can upgrade. Now, to do that, you hit Q, no, right click, and then there's the upgrade thing. So we need limestone. So we're going to need uh, 6, oh, 8, 14, uh, was that 20, 26, uh, 30, no, uh, 26, 32, uh, 38, and um, 44, uh, 48, and yeah, okay, so 52 ish approximately if my math was correct 52 oh for crying out loud 52 <laughs> you know what i uh, what i do is i just come in i just I, i'm just like here you know what we've got so much meat there <laughs> and then we can just dump the rest of it all in oh no i keep grabbing I didn't mean to hit the ha the thing the hammer on the thing, but that does voice my frustration sometimes with my ability to do transfers and stuff. There we go. We need uh, fifty two limestone. Are we gonna even be able to carry fifty two limestone? It's fifty two kilograms exactly. Okay, we can we can still? It says we're carrying too much, but we can still move. So I I'm gonna take that as being an untruth. Now. <sighs> Why upgrade to stone and then limestone with the with the top level root? Uh, it less reduced reduced firewood usage. Uh, these houses are more efficient, and they will use less. They will burn. You you don't need as much firewood to keep them warm. Uh, we're ignoring the fact that this house is basically built out of windows. Uh, you know, which would be kind of that that's counter to that, but. I don't think the game mechanic takes that into account. Uh, if it does, then woe is me. There's no shutters, no window covering, so I'm hoping that it's just not accounted for. And I just like a room. I like houses with windows in them. That's just me. Uh, look at that, it's starting to really take shape. There we go. And then we get you. And... There we go. And then, of course, we always... Um, yes, I know! It's... Thank you! Thank you! Words of encouragement, or squeals of encouragement. Oh, I think I misjudged the amount of limestone. I didn't count correctly. I need two plus four. I need six more limestone. So, as you can see, though, it is expensive. It's a lot of stone, which we were able to gather, but even then, it was a fair amount of stone. And a lot of limestone. And the limestone has to be dug up by the excavation shed. And so that 99 limestone is the sum of all of the effort of gathering limestone. Um, is it six? I think I need six. It's the sum of all of the effort of gathering limestone since that excavation shed has been built and populated with someone working in it. So you, yeah, it is, uh, it's slow. It's a slow process. And so this work, 
of replacing all the buildings to be like this is going to take a long time. And by buildings, I mean uh, the houses. Oh, we're done. We're done. Oh, look at this. Here. There we go. All right. Let me see here. Let's see if we can move... Uh, well, I've never, I don't remember exactly how to do it. Rudolfina is still pregnant. She hasn't given birth. Are we, there was a couple of us and somebody in the comment field, and I too thought that she would have given birth by now. But no, no, she hasn't. Maybe in the spring. In the spring, Rudolfina will, will have a, have a young one. So, um, new house that doesn't have anybody in it. And who can I assign to it? Can I assign Baldwina? Ah, good. When you set, when you when you request Baldwina, it will also request. Uh, oh, Eric's only marginally. Well, Eric's a baby, but it will also do. Baldwina's older than me. Oh, wow. Mm. Um, are you sure you want to transfer the family to a new house? Yes. There we go. We are now in a brand new house and. Hopefully, uh, I don't know when Baldwin is going to come and move over here, but I've got the fire in here to warm things up. And, yeah. Very cool. <laughs> there we are. Brand new house. <laughs> All right. I think this is a good place to stop. We ran a bit long, but I really wanted to get this house going. So, I, as I say, this is a great place to stop. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time. You all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.